Hey YouTube, this is Blueberry7497 here and I'm back with another tech video. Uh, in this video I'll, try, I'll be uh, going over four new things uh, in CM10 uh, somewhat briefly. Um, but before I get started I just want to um, give you guys an explanation as to why I haven't been putting up a video uh, I believe um, for about a week now. Um, the, reason is why is, uh, the reason why is because my internet has been down so I haven't had any Wi-Fi or uh, any, um, any connection to any sort of internet other than my phone and uh, uploading videos on here would be uh, just a nightmare. Uh, as you can see already, I've used about 3.63 gigabytes um, of data um, because of the lack of Wi-Fi. So, yeah, that's why I haven't been putting up a video. Um, now we'll go ahead and get started. Um, first thing I want to mention is uh, the camera. This was updated, I believe, at the end of uh, September. Uh, at the end of September, um, to support a new feature, um, it now has. Um, uh, timer mode so you can set a timer for 10 seconds put it down and then it will take 10 seconds it'll have a 10 second delay before it takes a picture this is handy if you want to have uh, group shots where you um, you want to set the camera down and have everybody get ready if someone else can't take the picture for you uh, you then have burst mode so we would do five shots this is not like burst mode uh, in the HTC One X or in the Galaxy S3 this is a uh, very slow and I actually wouldn't recommend to use it um, but we can take five shots as you can see it'll filter through and you can move it around and it'll just continue taking shots um, so here we have uh, the last one, it's one, we got two three, four, and five shots so I don't know how handy this is going to use burst mode uh, in my opinion is would be used for uh, trying to capture something that's moving at a, at a high pace maybe uh, you're a son or daughter or friend is playing soccer or any, any type of video, uh, game and you want to capture something that uh, that's moving at somewhat high speed um, that it may be hard to capture by taking just one shot even if the shot is uh, instantaneous um, so uh, I don't know how useful this burst mode will be but you have it anyway then you have the option to um, uh, make the JPEG quality I guess super high medium or low um, which um, again is another feature I'm not sure how useful it will be but for those of you who uh, have been asking for that it's here now um, and then in the uh, record mode we don't have anything different as well as um, the uh, uh, landscape picture everything's the same there um, the next thing we'll be going over uh, briefly would be the calculator um, the calculator has been updated uh, to support a couple new additions so if I went ahead and did 2 plus 2 uh, it equals 4 and if I clear that out and I want to uh, I wanted to accident, uh, I accidentally deleted maybe some some in info or some calculations that I should have written down to show my work or something like that. Um, you can easily use this bar to scroll down and it'll show all your previous calculations that you've done um, as a history. Um, so that's quite useful. Then you can come up to this three menu button and you can clear the history, show the history. Um, same thing as pulling that down. Uh, matrix panel. You can come over here. Now, uh, this is handy if you need a matrix panel. Um, you can go to the uh, advanced panel, which would be right here. You got the sine, cosine, tangent, you got the, uh, your logs and everything like that. Parentheses X and Y, well, you can see here. Then you got the basic, and then you have uh, uh, A, B, C, D, E, F. Um, um, uh, and then you can convert uh, from decimal to binary into hex and uh, vice versa. Um, so we got 73 here, uh, binary, that's what it is, and hex right there. So that's kind of useful. Um, and then you have a graph. So if you want to check out, you know, you forgot maybe what y uh, equals 1 looks like, uh, you can go ahead and put that in right there. It's handy if you have more complicated uh, uh, graphs that you want to see what they look like. You can go ahead and use that and take a quick look at what the graph looks like. Um, that was the calculator. Uh, the third thing I want to go over would be the, um, would be the clock. Um, now in the standard clock that comes with ICS and Jelly Bean, you get this nice clock where you can set an alarm, you touch it once and uh, the notification tray kind of goes out and it dims and if you hold it you get a black background with the blue letters, uh, I'm sorry, uh, numbers and letters. Um, and now though if you scroll to the right uh, you get um, a stopwatch so you can start it and then you can uh, hit the lap button, you can reset it and start and stop so that's kinda useful if you're looking for a stopwatch and you had to use a third-party app 
you uh, have settings here. You have the you can hide the last lap, hide the best lap, hide uh, laps in general, uh, or go to the settings. And in the settings, we have laps and sectors. You can configure these uh, however you'd like. Um, best lap behavior, um, and then it just gives some about info. Next, we have countdown. If you scroll over one more time to the right, you have the countdown, and uh, we'll go ahead. And you can edit how uh, how long the countdown is. So if you want to just put it for an hour, you can go ahead and scroll down and you got an hour right here. And let's take these uh, milliseconds all the way down <clears throat> to zero, sorry, for the, the delay. There we go. And you can go ahead and set it. So you can go ahead and start it for one minute. You can stop it. And as you can see, you get a nice little notification right up here that takes use of the, uh, the expandable notification system um, in uh, Jelly Bean. You can reset the timer, you can add a current timer, um, and uh, you can go in the settings and uh, change how the notifications behave when um, the timer is up um, or the countdown. Um, and the lat fourth and final feature I want to go over is the addition of OTA updates for Sign Engine Mod. Um, so I don't know if this is available in any versions below CM10, but I know that it's available for CM10. Um, in CM10, you now have the ability to check for updates over the air. Um, instead of having to, you know, put it on your computer and then plug it in, uh, uh, plug in your phone and put it on the SD card, or in this case, you know, just the external storage part of the of the phone, and then go through, open up ROM Manager and uh, install it. You can now just go ahead and install it from right from here. Um, uh, you can also install it in your phone though if you've watched my previous videos you'll see that you can just go to your downloads folder if you're using a Nexus and find the downloaded uh, the downloaded nightly build um, but this kind of simplifies it just even further um, you can hit this refresh button up here and it'll check for uh, updates just like you would be doing if you weren't on a custom ROM uh, in the stock version you can also do this then you have a settings button to delete the downloads show your system info you can choose to check for updates uh, manually on every every time you boot up, twice daily, daily, weekly, biweekly, or monthly. Um, you can uh, configure what kind of updates are shown as you refresh for uh, to check for new updates. You can uh, check out uh, the new versions that are only stable, new versions that include the nightlies. All versions are stable only, or all versions that include nightlies. Um, then you can hit this box to create a backup before you uh, update so here you can see I have uh, October 2nd, October 3rd, and October 4th build since I'm on October 1st it'll give me all the new nightlies um, now I would be cautious if you were going to check that box and uh, figure that you're done with it uh, because I believe that I have updated once using this um, system and it didn't show any signs of creating a backup and I have no I haven't been able to find any type of backup on my phone um, so I don't know if it actually does uh, create a backup um, but if uh, you're just you want to play it safe, you can open up your ROM manager, and just before uh, after you've downloaded that from there, you can go ahead and hit backup current ROM, and it'll back up your current ROM, and then you can go ahead and go back to the OTA updates uh, settings and um, install from there. Um, so that was a quick update on Signage Mod 10. Um, there was kind of a lot of features uh, um, or things added, um, so that's why the video is kind of long. Um, but stay tuned, um, I will be um, probably doing another video on the new YouTube app. I know it's kind of hard to see, but YouTube, uh, Google kind of uh, redid the YouTube app, the experience. Um, uh, I will also be um, uh, having a giveaway, uh, so be sure to uh, stay subscribed. I'll be having a giveaway of Google Play and iTunes gift cards. And uh, be sure um, to follow me on Google+, Plus as well as Twitter. Uh, I do uh, up th update those regularly um, to, uh, you know, just pose general questions about tech um, and give info. Um, and it's also a great way um, to reach me if you need, uh, you know, if you have tech-related um, uh, questions or uh, maybe about signage mod or something or you just want to uh, give me suggestions uh, about my videos, that's also welcome. You can do that through those social media sites or you can just leave a comment on my video or on my channel. I check them all. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.